All right, so after uh, the last few days where the Yankees haven't done anything, uh, it's time for me to go on a rant here. This is going to be uh, my last Yankee rant video of 2021 because we don't know what's going to happen with a pending lockout in Major League Baseball. So after Corey Seager gets signed to the Texas Rangers, I go on Twitter and, you know, I come back here on this platform and read your comments because that's what I like to do um, when I have my cell phone here. I like to read your comments. I like to read your opinions. So the number one story in this offseason moving forward is going to be that the New York Yankees right now are the biggest laughing stock in Major League Baseball. And I don't want to get back to 2021, but I'm going to have to. Because in 2021, during the season, Hal Steinbrenner, uh, he goes on his Zoom meetings, uh, he talks to the media, and he says that, oh, blame it on the players. Don't blame it on Aaron Boone. Well, what did he do? He gave Aaron Boone a three-year contract extension. Mind you, the whole fan base wanted Aaron Boone gone. Brian Cashman. The whole fan base wants Brian Cashman gone. What are you going to do? You're going to give Brian Cashman a contract extension. We're not fucking Todd's. We already know that Brian Cashman is going to stay with the New York Yankees for the foreseeable future. But you didn't blame the coaching staff. But what did you do? You let go of Marcus Stims in the offseason. Mind you, should have been gone during the season. Phil Nevin, gone. So you got to replace Phil Nevin with Luis Rojas. But let me get back to the players. Because if it was the players that were underachievement, underachieving, what's your job, How? What is your fucking job? Well, your fucking job and Brian Cashman's job is to make changes. So, you cite center field and shortstop. Not to mention pitching. That was your priority in the offseason. Brian Cashman said that. And he said that at his end of the year uh, press conference. Oh, we're going to explore all options. And we're going to be open for business. So, what did Brian Cashman do? Zero. Zippo. Nada. Absolutely nothing. They got under the luxury tax with the hopes of blowing through it this season. Nope. Not one single fucking thing. Corey Seager. Gone. Marcus Simeon. Gone. Max Scherzer. Gone. Kevin Guzman. Gone. Robbie Ray. Gone. Sterling Mate. Gone. And you couldn't even fucking replace a catcher. In fact, the catcher that you wanted, uh, who was it, uh, Sterling's, goes to the Miami Marlins. So what now? Darren Sanchez is going to get tendered. Carlos Correa, right now, is the only hope for the Yankees. Carlos Correa is going to surpass Francisco Linares, especially his contract numbers. So you got to assume there's no way in hell that's even under consideration with the fucking Yankees. You know the Yankees are not going to want to sign Carlos Correa. 
They're going to let Carlos Correa, what, what are they going to do? Let him go back to the Houston Astros? Let him go to the Baltimore Orioles? The Detroit Tigers? Boston Red Sox? These guys, they weren't in on any of those guys that I just talked about. They had no real interest whatsoever. This fucking organization is a fucking disgrace. And yeah, now they're checking out a 32-year-old stopgap shortstop in, in Simmons. Who had an OPS of 558 last season. I don't know with this team, man. I really don't know. Uh, I mean, I know $325 million for Corey Seager is a shitload of money. But not to even hear that the Yankees were involved in any kind of talks. It fucking pisses me off. Corey Seager was everything that this offense needed. I talked about it in my podcast. I talked about the fact that Corey Seager is a high contact hitter. You obviously need a lefty bat because I don't see us being all righty coming into the season. Now, is this guy a gold glove shortstop? No. But I'm going to tell you something right now. He was going to be better than Gleyber Torres because we all know the Gleyber Torres experiment was fucking done towards the end of the season. He was going to be your fucking shortstop before he moves over to third base in a year or two. Look at the history that Corey Seager has with the fucking postseason. He's a proven clutch hitter. Something this team needed. Now, I understand the history injury. uh, The injury history. Why did I say history injury? Um, But injury history. um, That was going to be a problem. But Corey Seager was a dream for this lineup. Now that's dead in the water. This is like fucking Bryce Hopper all over again. Because I remember when Bryce Hopper was a free agent. I I was saying this too. Oh, the Yankees, they should sign Bryce Hopper. They should sign him. Look what that dude will do at fucking Yankee Stadium. He will fucking hit home runs all over the place. What happened? They were never invested in Bryce Hopper. Because Hal Steinbrenner needed more money. Needed more money to not fucking care about this organization. Could they go after Trevor Story? Maybe. But like I said, Trevor Story is going to go to the Houston Astros. I feel like that's his destination. But I know it's going to be a stopgap shortstop in Simmons. This organization is such a fucking joke, man. (laughs) It really is. I'll tell you what they're going to do. They're going to bring back Anthony Rizzo. Unless they trade for Matt Olsen. But who the hell knows if they're going to fucking pull off a trade to Matt, with, with fucking Matt Olsen. The icing on the cake here. Is that. They're not signing any big names. But you want to fucking bring back Brett Gartner? Oh yeah. <clears throat> Brett Gottner, a fucking guy who couldn't hit above 200 for most of the fucking season this year, but you want to bring him back, like, let's say, like a fucking two year deal for like $12 million? <clears throat> I 
unfucking real with this team. If this team fucking sucks, Yankee fans, I'll tell you this right now. Don't even go to the fucking games. Don't even fucking spend your hard-earned money. You know what you do with your fucking hard-earned money? You know, take your girlfriend, take your wife out to a nice date. A nice dinner. Buy your kid something. Save your money to pay your bills. I know fucking things right now are fucking expensive in the world. Or save that money to go on a trip. Don't go to fucking Yankee Stadium. Because they don't fucking care about us. They don't care about the fans who fucking put their heart and soul to the New York Yankees organization. That's one thing. And if you can do that, maybe, just maybe, it's going to give the Yankees management fucking change. Because I'll tell you right now, this fucking organization, it's like ran like the Philadelphia Eagles. It's how, it's like what they're doing in Philadelphia. Howie Roseman and Jeffrey Lurie, they don't care about the fans. They gave a fucking, a, a Super Bowl. Fuck this team. Seriously, fuck this team. I'm fucking done. I'm out, your Yankee Messiah. Peace.